You want to hit it a little bit further, don't you? But if you're trying to hit the ball too hard and following some of the myths that you think you need to do to get more distance and swing faster, you're going to be frustrated. So whether you're a senior golfer, whether you're a beginner golfer, whether you've been training this crazy game for a long time, I know it's going to click for you to give you more distance, not just with the driver, but with every club in the bag. Let's get into it. is moving off the ball. Everyone thinks that they have to stay too static and make a big turn, okay, around to get the coil and resistance. Yes, we sort of want a slingshot uh, and spring effect, but the longest hitters in the world use the biggest weapon, which is gravity and momentum. So if you're finding that you're lacking a bit of distance and you're a little bit flat footed as you try and swing through, okay, you are going to benefit greatly by using the ground just a little bit more and a bit more of a lateral movement. And the way we do this is just from the start of the swing, okay? And you think, okay, why is this going to help me? Because if I was going to, to throw this, this club, like a spear or whatever, I would move laterally, you know, I'd move back a little bit just to gather a bit of momentum so I could move it back forward. I would be hard pressed to throw this as far as I can just by standing here and doing that and staying very flat footed. So we want a bit of momentum and it's the same with getting more distance. So we need to start the swing with one key move. And the best golfers in the world do this, okay? So we have this, let's say we've got a, a, an alignment stick or a shaft here. When we actually make our backswing, yes, we want to turn around here, but we don't want to just be falling back this way, okay? Because from here, we're, we're kind of stuck. We can't gather that energy to go back towards the ball. So we want to feel actually that the hips move just an inch or two away from the target. And what's gonna happen is that helps us to move back through with the momentum that we need here. So it's a tiny little surfing movement, this slight little lateral shift. Now notice, I am not moving my upper body. I'm not doing this to get behind it. I'm starting my swing with my hips just shifting slightly towards the backswing just by an inch or two and then they turn behind all right it's a little bit complicated but it's actually very natural so it's the smallest movement and you can practice just by standing your feet together okay like this and stepping back and then turning around you notice that so it's like this lateral shift is creating that momentum for me so feet are together I step back and then I turn behind, allowing my hips to shift. And from here, they shift backwards, exactly, you know, back towards the target, exactly where I want them to be. So see how you get on with that. And the way to sort of trigger it, in essence, is a slight bump forward, which I like to create momentum, and then we move it back. I'm not moving the knee outside, I'm not moving the foot outside. I'm allowing it to stay on the inside of the foot here but the hip is loading up into the right glute and I'm turning behind okay that is a key power move that gives you ability to launch forward getting through the ball as opposed to hitting at it is a tenant you have to trust and apply to your wedges to your irons to your hybrids to your fairways and your driver not just to get more speed but to get the reliability and effortless consistency that you're after, okay? Now, there's lots of ways that we can do it, but one of the best feelings, especially with a driver, especially out on the golf course, is one thing. As you're, you know, 
let's kind of assume that you've got everything else right. You've made your transition through, you're releasing through to the target here. What happens next? If you stall your body, you're kind of screwed. We have to make sure that we get through to the target, just like you would if I was throwing this. I wouldn't hang back like this. I would get through it that way. And the same thing applies with any distance shot. We need to get through. And the way it can happen without you overthinking it is just by the feeling of this knee actually pushing towards the ball as we come down, as we move that transition down, we push towards the ball, okay? That knee, not instead of being pulled back, which causes this overextension, we want to use opposing forces and push it into the ground. And by pushing it into the ground, it actually propels us back this way. Newton's law, right? So it's gonna pull us back this way, which is gonna give us the room. Then we need to feel like we get through the golf ball. We do that by our knees touching as a little guideline. So you're out on the golf course, whatever shot you're trying to hit, and even with practice swings, I want you to just try and feel like your knees are touching. Your knees are touching, okay? That we've got this balance finish. Because that's going to show you that you've got through nicely. And the final little feel is, as you touch those knees together, the belt buckle is pointing up to the sky, but your chest is up to the sky as well. We're not sort of buried low here. We're not off balance here. We are sort of slinging and catapulting this swing through. Because you'll be surprised at how much faster you swing when you're in balance and when you try and get through it. So I'm gonna hit this shot here and all I'm gonna do, and it's a wonderful swing to have on the golf course, is to feel like I'm just gonna get those feet uh, moving through the knee moving back and those knees touching, all right? I'm not gonna try and hit a massive one here. I'm gonna try and apply those swing thoughts that we have talked about. Pretty good. Ball went where I wanted. I got the speed. I'm delighted with the result. And the thing is that is a wonderful swing thought to take to the course. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you next time.